Are you planning on celebrating Purim this year? Let me tell you why Purim may be more relevant this year than any other for college students. You see, in the last year, anti-Jewish and anti-Israel sentiment has increased on college campuses in America. And the story of Purim is exactly about that story. You see, it takes place in diaspora. It's the story of how the Jews were at risk in Persia. And in this story, in order for the Jewish people to be saved, two different elements have to come together of the Jewish community. They're the Esthers and the Mordechais. Now I want you to think about Esther, who is that assimilated Jew who's hiding out in the palace, who looks like everybody else. And you never really know that she is Jewish at all. And then there's Mordechai, who's the Jewish activist, who's out there in the world and his Jewishness is very much a part of him. You see, in the story of Esther, they both have to come together, both those elements to save the Jewish people of Persia. I know that it's been a difficult time on college campuses. Much like Persia, there are people who are out there and who want to negate the Jewish people, who want to negate the very existence of Israel. And so you need to come together, every type of Jew. And whether it's a rally, whether it's responding to the BDS movement, whatever it might be, can't be bystanders. You see, we have to all be upstanders. If we do nothing, if we let these people speak out against Israel and against Jews, then we, we're at risk, not only of losing ourselves physically, but also spiritually. See, on Purim, we come together. We acknowledge the evils that are in the world, but more than that, we have to come together in joyousness to help solve the problem. And so I want for you on college campuses to do something this year, to be proud of your Jewish heritage, to stand up for Israel, whatever it takes. I want you to be part of the Purim Sorry because you are, no matter what. And the ending, hopefully, will be like that of Purim, where we can celebrate. You see, without God's presence in the story, God not mentioned, not even once in the story. It's about the Jewish people taking upon themselves their heritage and their obligations. I hope, please, that you'll take seriously these obligations. I want to wish you a Hag Purim Sameach, a happy Purim, maybe a, a good one for the Jewish people and for Israel.